Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question bag of tokens. All right. So in this question, we have an initial power of P an initial score of zero and a bag of tokens where tokens I is the value of the ith token and uh, we index uh, starting at zero. So your goal is to maximize your total score by potentially playing each token in one of two ways. So given a certain token, we can do one of two things. And these are the options that we have. So the first option is if your current power is at least tokens I, so it has to be at least tokens I, you may play I token face up. Okay. And when you play face up, what happens is that you lose tokens I power and you gain a score of one. So let's take a quick small example. So let's say we have the, so tokens I currently has a value of 100 and our power has a value of 200. So what we can do is we can play it face up. And what's going to happen in that case is we're going to subtract the number or the amount of tokens from our power. So 200 minus 100 leaves us with the power of 100. But by subtracting, subtracting it, what happens is that our score increases by one. So getting one score. Now, the other thing with, uh, that we can do is if your current score is at least one, you may play I token facing down. And in this case, you're going to gain tokens I power, but you're going to lose a score of one. So in other words, what's basically happening, happening is in this case, let's say our tokens I has a value of 100 and our power has a value of 50. So in this case, what's going to happen is that we actually cannot uh, pay, place the token face up because to place it face up, we have to subtract from our power. So in this case, what we can do is we can place it face, face down. And when you place it face down, what happens is we get those tokens. So in this case, 100 tokens into our power. So now our power is going to be 50 plus 100, so 150. But the problem with that is that our score now decreases by one. All right, so the task that we have over here is that each token may be placed at most once and in any order. You do not have to place all the tokens. So you do not have to place them all and return the largest possible score you can achieve playing any number of tokens. So quick examples. Uh, this is actually the same example I went over. So a token of 100 and a P value of 50. So in this case, we cannot place it face down. We have to place it face up and placing it face up. It's going to decrease our score down to negative one. And the score that we currently have of zero is actually a better option. So we're just going to stick with that and not do anything. So this over here is another example. So we have 150. So in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to uh, place the token of 100 face up. So now our power is 50. And now in this case, our score also increases by one. And then we're going to stop doing the rest because 200 is too big. Uh, it's bigger than our power. So we have to place it face down, but at the expense of losing our score by one. And this over here is uh, the example three. And instead of going it, uh, going over it over here, what I'm going to do is go over it step by step. And while we're going over it step by step, we'll come up with a solution of how we can actually solve this question. All right. So over here, we have the exact same thing. So uh, 100, 200, 300, 400. But just for the sake of explaining, I changed the order. So 400, 100, 200, 300. So one of the questions that we want to ask is, does it matter how big or small the number is? And one more thing that we notice uh, or we should notice is, sorry. So if you go over here, uh, pretty important. Each token may be placed at most once and in any order. They can be placed in any order that you want it to be placed at. So we don't have to go through it step by step. So since we are given those rules to play around with, we want to ask, does the size of the tokens matter? And the answer to that is yes, because when we have a smaller token, what we can do is we're going to lose less points, but we're going to gain score. So the main goal here is to lose the least amount of points and get the most score that we can. In that case, what's going to happen is we're going to lose the most points, but we could get a score higher. Or another thing that we could consider when we have a really big number, we're going to gain the most amount of points, but we're going to lose one score. And uh, thinking of it that way, uh, let's say we have an option between choosing between 400 and 300, right? And we're placing both of them face down. So in that case, we're going to end up choosing 400 because 400 is going to give us more points but and in either 400 or 300, we're only going to end up losing our uh, one score. OK, so now that we know that uh, the value or how big a number is matters, we're going to sort it. So the way we're going to sort it is going to be in ascending order. 
So 100, then 200, 300, 400, and yeah. And I'll just rewrite the p-value. So the p-value is still going to be 200, okay? So now let's go to the step-by-step -step. and we're going to be using a two-pointer method and we'll see how this works. So we have a pointer over here, so that stands for left, and this over here is going to be our right pointer. Left pointer starts at uh, index zero, right pointer starts at the very ending. All right, so now that we have this over here, how exactly can we use this to find out the score? So what we're going to do is we're going to be going inside of this loop, and the condition to enter the root loop uh, is going to be that the left value has to be less than or equal to the right value, so that's one thing that we have. So let's just write that down uh, over here. So left has to be less than or equal to right. And after we have this, we're gonna look at one more condition. So over here, we can have one of two things. So over here, we could have some value in our score, right? So our score starts off at zero, but we could have some value to it. And another thing that we have is we're gonna look if our current points is greater than or equal to whatever the value at L is. So let's just go to that. So tokens and L, okay? So basically what exactly is happening here? So we're gonna go inside of our while loop if either one of these are true. So if we have a score which is not equal to zero, then in that case, we can go inside of our while loop. Now, why does that make sense? So the reason that makes sense is because when you have a score of zero, we can afford to lose at least one score. So that is one of our conditions. And the other thing over here is if the P value is greater than or equal to the token value that we have, then in that case, another thing that we could be doing, so if this is true, we can lose that many uh, points from our p value and we can add to our score. So if either of these conditions ends up being true, we can actually go through inside of our loop. All right, so now that we're inside of our loop, we're gonna be doing a check. Now, the first thing that we wanna check is, is the p value greater than or equal to tokens L? And again, I went through the reason that we're doing this. And the simple reason real quickly is because if it is equal to or greater than, then we can increase our score by one. And again, I'll be counting our score over here, okay? So score starts off at zero. And now in this case, 200 is greater than 100. So what's going to end up happening is that we're going to, we're going to uh, have 100 points taken away from us. So 200 minus 100, now we have a value of 100 for P our score is going to end up increasing by one. So now our score is one and the left value is gonna to move to the right by one. And the reason we're moving it to the right by one because we can only go to each token one time. So let's just kind of cross this out over here. Okay, so now we have this and this and now we're gonna go inside of our while loop again. So in this case, we're going inside of the while loop because our score has a value of one, it's not zero. But one more thing you wanna look at is our p-value which is 100 it's actually less than the smallest value, which is 200. So in this case, we cannot actually uh, expend our score. So what's gonna happen is we're going to end up losing our score. And what are we going to lose our score to? 200, 300, or 400? And the answer to that is we're gonna lose our score to 400. And the reason that we're gonna be losing our score to 400 is because in this way, we, we're only gonna lose a score of one. So now our score becomes zero but we're gonna get the most amount of points. So now our p-value is going to be 100 plus 400. Uh, I'll just write all the p-values here, since that's kind of messy. So we're gonna get one four, 400 plus 100, so 400 plus 100, giving us 500, all right? But our score is now zero. So now what's gonna happen is the right value over here, since we already used this token, is gonna move to the left by one. So now this over here is our right value. Now over here, what's going to end up happening is we have 200, 300, and we have a p-value of 500, which is greater than 200. So what's gonna happen, we're gonna end up using this phase up. So in that case, score now becomes one, and uh, 500 minus 200 gives us a value of 300. And now the left value moves to the right by one, and the left value and the right value are now going to be in the exact same place. So in this case, what's going to happen is that since they're on the same place, we still go through it, and 300 and 300, so that's perfect, right? So in this case, we're still going to use this face up and we're gonna cross this out. Uh, 300 minus 300 now gives us a point of zero and our score over here is now gonna increase by one, so one plus one, giving us a score of two, which is exactly what we were looking for. All right, so let's start off by taking our tokens and we're gonna sort it in ascending order. So now we did that. And over here, we're going to have our score. So the score is gonna start off at zero 
And simultaneously, we're going to have our left and right values. So the left value is going to start off at an index of zero, and the right value is going to be the length of tokens minus one. And the reason we're doing minus one is because we're starting to index at the value zero. Okay, so perfect, we have this. And now that we have this, we're going to go inside of our while loop. So the first condition is if left is less than or equal to our right. And the reason we're checking for that is because if we have the left value being greater than the right value, that means that we're going to end up uh, reusing some values which we shouldn't be doing. So that's one of our conditions. And the other condition is going to be an OR condition. So in this case, uh, we're going to check if point is not equal to zero. So we can just do if point. And the other OR uh, or the other condition that we have is if the P value is greater than or equal to tokens. And we're going to get the smallest value, which in this case is going to be at the left index. All right, so now we go inside of our loop. And over here, we're going to have the first condition, which is if the P value is greater than or equal to tokens L. And if it, okay, and if that is the case, then what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take our score and we're going to increase it by one. That's one thing that happens. Uh, simultaneously, one more thing that we're going to be doing is we want to remove that amount of points from a P, right? So in that case, P minus equal, and we're going to remove tokens L, all right? And finally, one more thing that we need to do is we want to move our left pointer to the right by one. Okay, so that's one condition. And another condition is going to be when uh, P is not equal to or greater than tokens L. And in that case, what's going to end up happening is that we're going to uh, decrease our score by one and we're going to gain those tokens into our P. But that is not always going to be the case. And we're only going to do this when our left value is not equal to our right value. And if the left value is equal to our right value, then in that case, we're just going to uh, break out of this, okay? And the reason that we're breaking out when the left and the right value is same, because when, okay, so let's just look at this over here. So R and L are at the same place, but now let's say we actually have to gain tokens. So two things happen. We gain tokens, that's good, but we decrease in score. And this is going to be the last iteration because after this, Whatever we do is going to be a repetition, which we cannot have. So this over here is the last iteration and losing score in the very last iteration makes no sense, right? So that's why we're not going to be doing anything. And the extra points that we gain also don't matter since that is the last iteration. Okay. So now that we kind of understand that uh, over here, we're going to check, uh, we're going to go to our score, which decreases by one. Uh, then we're going to go to our points and we're going to increase it by tokens and the right value over here. And uh, simultaneously, we're going to decrease our right or take the right pointer and move it to the left by one. So R minus equals one, and that should be it. So at the very ending outside of our while loop, we're going to return our score. Uh, let's submit this. Sorry, I was supposed to, I was actually referring to score over here and not points. So yeah, my bad. Okay, so score. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.